I've just received a 48 egg incubator. I'm told it's improved or right, it's advanced compared to the other common incubator. So I want us to unbox it together and see the goodies that are inside and how it works. Transparent, not so much transparent but a bit translucent. I see, I can see inside just from above, unlike the other one, which is so much, uh, this, the, 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 the tint is so much dark, you know. I can't see it from here. So I can open it like that. Oh wow, there are even more goodies inside, right? So I have a drinker. Wow, this is good. And I have a feeder. And even, oh, I have even a partition feeder. You see the partitions? Wow, baby feeder. Wow, this is so nice. I think it's, it, it's, it gives me some, some motivation. You know? It's a much improvement product. I expect its performance to, to improve as well. So I think this is a feeder. Wow, all this and one package, and I have this. Oh, this is enough for my 48 chicks. If I get a 98% stability, wow, it's got a water bottle. Wow, I, I love it, you know. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, wow, I got a candling torch. What? Let's see, take some cells. What's the problem? Can't see it. Get around. There's a battery. I've oh, just confirmed it's got no battery, but this is amazing. This is a good, I think this is a good package. I, I love it, I love it. I got a 48 egg incubator. It's, you know, it, you know it's, it's translucent. I can see a little bit inside what is happening. At least I can have a peek of how my chicks are hatching. Then I can go further and unbox it further. just improved so during lockdown let's see how easy it is to remove it oh so easy you know you can just bring it back you can bring it in and out it's not easy without necessarily having much harm to the machine and I can see well let me just check the space of my cheeks wow I think the whole thing has got much space you know during hatching I think this is quite an even space for for hatching 48 eggs. I keep mentioning about the, the number of eggs per hatcher tray. You know, if I look at this, I, I get the ratio of, I think five centimeters square per, per egg to be quite okay, you know. There won't be that much crumpling and there won't be that much struggling of the chicks to get out of the egg, okay. Once the first knock has been done and then the simultaneous round crack is done, and there's much space here. I think the chick even can stay here for a day. This is quite a good machine. I'm quite convinced the hatchability is quite improved because this is an improvement of the other machine. Let's see how we can power it and how it can run. You ought, you ought to ensure that your humidifier is in place. So the humidifier is here. Just open it like that. And then you will remove the setter trays just like that gently, of course, because you don't want to cause harm. Then put them on a surface that is quite even. Then remove the, the surface, which is which will act like the hatching base. And then you can open this gently, just as simple like that. Make sure that the shiny side, or rather the shiny aluminium plate, faces up, or rather the, the hollow part faces up. So you just need to put it in place like that. And this is only installed, or rather you can only use the humidifier from day 18 that is during lockdown but then during the normal uh, process of uh, setting the eggs you don't need to use the humidifier like you don't actually need to put the humidifier in place this is actually a very unique feature that the other machine didn't have completely so this one helps in boosting you know your hatchability so then we'll connect it like that and then just ensure that this cable which looks like a data cable or rather a usb cable passes through that hole and then you can pull it up like that and then put the hatching base in place ensure it's like that 
okay? So if it's the 18, you will not use the setter trace, all right? You just remove your eggs from the setter trays, and then you load them in the hatching base, which is now like the hatching tray. And then you can then, you then connect this cable, or the, this data cable, to this upper side, or rather the other side of the cable, just to make it a, make a complete connection. So your eggs will be spread here, all right? And then you will cover it gently like that and connect the power source and connect it to the power source and then put it on all right so then in the initial stage which is the setting stage you know like loading the machine the eggs you will take you will take the setter trays or rather the setter tray just confirm and ensure that it's if they are turning or rather they can turn in the initial stage you load your eggs in the setter trays it's a simple i think the the common process whereby the small side or the narrow side is down and the wide side is up all right then after loading just we shall load our eggs in the machine just like that then we shall take this cable which is actually a cable supplying this this is the tunnel supplying the tunnel power and connect it to the upper side of the machine which is just a white piece of cable as well or rather a white joint or a white socket so you connect it like that gently then your eggs are now in place and then you will cover the machine gently ensure that it's in place okay and then you will add some water so you then add water from outside a very interesting feature unlike the other machines whereby you could add water through opening the lid so after adding water so your eggs are loaded and the machine has already been added water to if you're using a battery a dc source of power you then take this cable and just connect it here and connect positive and negative automatically the machine will power on but because you're using ac power this is the cable for ac so you just simply connect it here and then you will connect it to your power source. So once you connect it to the power source, automatically the machine will become on. It's a very silent machine. There's no much noise. Actually, you can use the you can just put it in your living room and it will operate so well. It's a very easy machine to set, for example. So this is the button. The button written set will be used for setting, like the temperature and the humidity so the upper side which is written degrees celsius which is pv indicates present value and the lower side which is sv indicates the s like the set value okay so this is the temperature on the left side far left and then it's followed by humidity all right and then it's followed by the egg turning times all right on the extreme right so at the center is actually the humidity then on the lower side actually is the set value for the temperature then center is set value for humidity and then on the extreme far right which is here this is the hatching days the number of days that have the machine has run since day one actually one of the best features you know you can't like get confused if you're this person who is not so much into writing and data keeping all right so i'm assuming that you want to set the temperature so it's very easy you just press set then you will see the SV value like blinking and then it, this, the SV value at the center will be writing TT. So you can press the positive button to go up or you can press the negative button to go down. So you can use like for example we normally recommend 37.5 37 so you just go to 37 actually you go down go down to 37. 0.5 so that is the set value for temperature and then again you press set it will give you a set value that is blinking which is 60 not necessarily 60 but any value but then the center value is hh this indicates humidity all right then you will set a humidity basically you can either go up go down sorry by pressing the negative button or you can go up by pressing the positive button so like now we want 60 so once you get 60 again you press the, the button set then the machine will come to a standstill. So that means that the set value is 37.5 for temperature and the set value is 60 
HH for humidity. At Engoho Kuku Farm, the machine can be delivered anywhere at just $200. That's amazing, you know. It's beautiful. So I would actually encourage you to go for this machine. I'm sure by all these factors, the manufacturer states clearly that he has improved their ability by around 10 to 15%. Why not go for this? Increase your profits.